hello friends welcome on my youtube channel i hope you are fine and well so in this video we are going to create visuals okay so as you can see in visualization pane we have different charts okay visuals right so we are going to make use of these visuals and we will create a report dashboard okay so before that let me load my data set then what i will do i will transform my data set means i will clean my data set then i will load in power bi desktop and after it we'll make use of all these visualization and we'll be going to create a beautiful dashboard so means report so uh, let me open power query editor so in power query editor only i'm going to load my data set with the help of new source under home tab so i will click so uh, i will show you my data set so it is in one drive power bi and this is my sample data set so i'm having two okay tables okay two data set order and product table so i'm going to make use of these two tables okay these two data set and i'm going to create my beautiful report okay so let me load this data set so i will click on new source because both are in csv file format so i will choose text csv and I will load the part. So you can see one by one i will load my data set so this is my preview of data set now i'll click on ok again what i will do i will load my second data set table product and i will click on open so this is preview i will click on ok so you can see both are present here but if you observe order table okay uh trends will call as query okay table will call as queries uh, but queries and table are both same okay so do not get confused so uh, right now i'll show you so this will tell this color will tell my column health as you already know i hope you have gone through my previous video in which i have shown you how we can do column profiling so right now you can see everything is green okay so let me scroll right and i will check if any error is there in my column so you can see it is showing brown here okay so i will over my cursor over here here and you can see so there are 43 rows which are valid so no error value is present but there are six number of rows which are empty so empty value okay if i'm going to create will be not useful for my report okay for my dashboard i need to fill with certain values or either i can remove this particular rows but if i will remove then all other data of my other columns will also be get lost so it is not good way so instead of that what i will do i will fill this value with this particular upper values okay whatever upper values is there so let's suppose here two rows are empty now i want to fill with h value in these two rows so i can make use of fill option so directly if you observe if i will you make use of fill under transform report transform tab so if i will click on down so upper value it will going to fill in the lower rows which are empty so it will this will not work okay so you can see right now this will not work so i will close this step so instead of this if my rows are empty so i need to fill with null first so first i need to fill with null so i will have to make use of replace value okay so i hope uh, you remember replace right so here replace is present so i will click over here okay value to find nothing and i will provide here null okay so first i will replace my empty value with null with the help of this replace values now i can make use of fill and i will click on this option make use of down so upper value it is going to fill on in the empty rows in the lower position so i will click on down so now you can see everything is fine okay so till here i will scroll right and you can say everything is fine okay now second thing is i have checked my column health right now as a first thing either you can check the data type correct data type and or you can check the health so i have checked the health first now i'll check the data type of each my columns okay so if column data type will be incorrect then value also be it will go it will be going to show error okay so let's suppose this value if the data type for this particular column is incorrect then it is going to show error so right now you can see every column data type is correct okay 
otherwise based on the top 200 rows i want power will automatically okay detect the data type so i will make use of this detect data type so i will choose this option so you can see it is uh, not going to change anything okay because it has already chosen okay suggested the correct data type okay so let me remove this step okay leave uh, i will want this step so i will not close this now first what i have done i have checked the health then data type now i need to remove the columns which are not necessary for my visualization so if i want list so i will go to home tab and i will click here choose column because choose column will give me the list of all my columns present in this particular table order so as you can see order id and so on but for my visualization purpose i do not need this commute distance okay so i will unselect this column then difference in days i do not want then i will unselect this column and all other columns you can see okay so these i need in my uh, report okay so i'm going to create report okay dashboard with the help of these columns so i need this column so i will leave as it is now i'll click on okay so it is going to remove those columns so previously i hope uh, if you remember here there were 17 columns and after removing these two columns difference in days and commute distance so i will get only 15 columns and this will show the rows are how many rows are there in my this particular table okay but as you can see everything is correct right everything is correct health column is correct but if you observe reason okay reason column so in single cell only there are multiple reasons present i do not want this right so how can we delete this east right so i'm going to make use of a split column okay so i am going to make use of a split column by limiter a space automatically suggested and i would click on okay it is not required in my report creation so i will because as you can see there are null values present all null values are present only one row is having east value so i am going to delete this because i do not need this further so I'm going to right click and I'll click on remove. Okay, so now everything is fine. My reason column. So I will rename this instead of reason one. I will give reason. So I will double click and I will rename. So as you can see, everything is fine. Okay. So, right. So if I want to round off, so let me round off my sales column. To up to two decimal point as you can see three decimal points are present so i will select this column okay then i will go to transform okay tab i'll click on round okay round and i'll provide here two and i'll click on okay so in the same way for profit column also i want to round up okay so one way is this or second way is i will click on profit column right click transform round okay i'll click on round up to two decimal point i'll provide you two and i'll click on okay so you can see up to two decimal point it has rounded up now these things you will not get with the help for your border for this you need to make sure you read your data set properly so reading data set is very very important friends before going to create any report or dashboard so you need to first understand your data set okay because by understanding only you are going to perform these steps so you will get an idea where uh, this particular transformation is needed where i need to improve my data set so as you can see first name and last name are present so i need to merge these two columns so i will select this column okay i will press ctrl and i will select last name also now you can see merge column get enabled so i will click over this and separator i want to provide okay uh, space between these two and i am going to give my new column name as full name now i'll click on okay so you can see full name is present data type is text only then you can see sales target i need to round off so i'll right click transform round round up to two decimal point and i will click on okay 
so I will scroll right and I will check everything is fine okay so right now I have prepared my order table for creating a report over this particular column now I will check my product column I'll check my product table and you can see first health of my column all the columns four columns are there everything is green means no error empty values are present everything is well data type so data type are also correct okay now i'll check the values okay everything is fine there is no need to change this particular data set so no transformation needed for this data set now i want to move back to my power bi desktop so right now you can see i'm in my power creator I want to move to this Power BI desktop. Okay, so what I will do, I need to save my changes. So I will click on Home tab, and you can see here, friends, these options Closer and Apply. So if I will click on Drop Down, so I will get three sub options Close and Apply, Apply, Close. So Close and Apply means whatever changes I have done, as you can see, I will show you an order table. I have transformed okay i have performed this transformation you can see these are the save applied step now i want to save these steps and i want to move back to my power bi desktop so i will make use of this option close and apply means save and quit exit from this particular power editor save all the changes what i have made save all the transformation whatever i have done and close this particular power editor now apply apply means it will only save we are not going to exit from this particular okay power query editor if i will click over there you can see it has applied the changes but it has not closed okay it is not going to close this power query editor now if i will click on close so it is not going to save the changes it will directly close power query editor and whatever transformation i have performed here it is not going to save those transformation so it's best uh, practice to always make sure to use this option close and apply so by default you can see close and apply is present so i will click over here so it will take just a few seconds friend, to save all the changes of power query editor and it will okay come to this particular power bi desktop so you can see all the changes are saved whatever transformation i have applied in my power query editor all the steps are saved and you can see my table order and product table are present and you can see now commute distance and days in difference columns are not present right so uh, these symbols have different meaning friends uh, this symbol calendar symbol defines this particular order date is having data type of date okay now this is of measure means this is numerical value means a product id contain numerical value okay and instead of reason you can see there is no symbol means this is dimension so summation means this is the symbol of summation means these are the majors column on which we will be able to perform mathematical calculation but over city feedback full name because these are the text data type columns we are not going to perform any mathematical calculation so these will call as majors okay so power we will save our table columns in major and dimension form so by default if particular column is having date data type so power bi is going to create a hierarchy and is going to extract year quarter month and day from this particular order date column so for, for ship date also you can see it has automatically extracted so in previous video i have shown you how to extract from a date data type column year quarter month day week and so by default it is going to extract and it will create a hierarchy so after year if you want to analyze your data for quarter on quarter basis so you can move over quarter and quarter then month on month and day and so on okay so our first uh, report we are going to create today okay so i hope uh, video is getting lengthy but uh, we have seen the options in power creator so first what i have to do okay first let me provide header okay title for this so how can i provide title so i will make use of text box so under home ribbon okay i am having text box so i will click over here you can see it has automatically get added over here now i will drag and drop 
over here i am going to reshape this particular text okay box so if i'll double click i'll be able to write here so let me give here sales dashboard okay so this name i'm going to give so but you can see this particular value is too small font size is too small we are not able to see it properly so what i will do i will select this particular value and i'm going to increase the sign okay font size so now uh, 40 is also i'm going to give as 66 now it is little bit okay okay now i'll make this as bold so you can see it is more clearly visual now you can see we can align this also now if you want to make this is italic so you can select and click on italic so it is going to make it in italic form okay so i do not want italic if you want to underline you can make use of underline also you can see so i want underline okay so font color you can see right now it is in black color so you can okay give different color from here so let me use this color so you can see i'm able to give different font color to this particular text box okay now i want to centrally align now you can see it is not in center right so i will minimize this filter because i'm not going to use right now filter okay so you can say this is not centrally aligned so if i want to make centrally aligned so i will select and i will click on center so now you can see it is in center if you want to make this in right so you can click on right so center will be better okay now this option uh, you can see super script if you want to make use of power if you want to give certain things as a power or uh, you want to give uh, as a base value then you can make use of subscript okay now this bullet list if you have more number of uh, headings okay so you can make use of bullet list or otherwise number list so in heading generally friends in title these uh, num bullet and number are not uh, necessary okay so this particular thing is correct okay in this way now you can see i'm not able to give background color right I'm not able to give any background color with the help of, of what option present here so it will be better option if you want to make use of background if you want to give background color over your title so instead of writing from here you can delete okay and select this text box and you can see here you will get general in format pane okay if i will select over any other here so you'll get visualization pane but if i will select text color so it will automatically prompt the features okay formatting which are necessary for my text box so these are the features for we provide us now in properties you can see height and width height and uh, width we can increase or decrease from here so previously what i was doing i was doing like this so instead of this dragging and dropping if you have by default certain height if you want to give and width you can make use of this option okay so let me close this minimize this title so friend uh, i hope you remember i want to give dash uh, background color for my title so i'll turn on and here i'm going to in text option i'm going to provide my title sales dash board okay now you can see here sales dashboard is present but it is too small so i need to increase the font size so what i will do i will increase font size up to 60 previously we have done till 60 so you can see till 60 i'm able to do this now if i want to make this as bold so i will click on bold okay so these are the formatting options present for my this particular title okay text color okay so text color i'm going to make use of this so as you can see now underline also i want to give so underline now you can see background color here friends with the help of this you will not be able to give background color but with the help of this particular formatting option which are present in general you will be able to give background color also so you can see none background color is present means white now i want to give this particular background color so right now you can see so i think this black is better so you can see now i want to centrally align okay so you can see so i have centrally align okay so right now i'm making use of black color so do not uh, 
get open friends uh, so let me use some light color okay so okay so we'll go with this uh, light orange color so you can see so i am going to give it like this okay so i hope this title is fine now if you have subtitle also you'll be able to give by turning on this you can make use of subtitle okay so different options are present is spacing and all so we'll see this later when we are going to cover this particular thing if you want to give some effect okay so right now you can see background color effect so you can make use of this particular thing if you want to give shadow so you can make use of shadow you can see even observe this shadow previously shadow was not there now you have shadow so i want to give shadow so by going into effects okay i have shadow options so shadow is in black color so and it is outside and in bottom right okay bottom right so in this way i can make use of effect also then header icons if you want to give you can make use of this header icons okay so these are nothing friends uh, these options we are getting okay so these are header icons okay now uh, let me show you i will give different color so that you will get clearly right now it is orange so let me give so these are header options friends you can observe these are header options okay so these are not necessary so i am going to turning off okay now i will click in my canvas over here okay so i hope this title is fine now we'll start with our basic the now we are going to start with our basic okay chart visual so first is table visual okay so i'm going to click over here in visualization pane if you observe this table if you over your cursor it will display you the type of visual is it it okay so this is table visual i will click over here so you can see i will increase the size so in this whole page i am going to create this table visual okay one by one in the coming videos i am going to show you the other visuals okay so friends when we uh, have to use this table visual okay so uh, let's suppose we have uh, two to three dimension and one measure okay so then we can make use of this table visual okay so in table visual let me so you uh, my this particular product table okay so let me drag and drop category name over here okay in this particular table now i have sub category also i will drag and drop over here now you can see it is getting added now product name i have also so in different sub category i am having different product and i want to analyze their sales so sales value is present here okay so i'm going to drag and drop sales over here so now i right now you can see friends it is giving default value right because remember i have not done modeling right i have not connected these two tables okay with the help of common column so how can i add how can i join these two tables with the help of model view so i'll click on model view so you can see there is no relationship between these two tables i have to create relationship okay so what i will do you can see product id and product id is common between these two tables so i am going to create relationship with the help of product id so i will click over here and i will drag product id of my order table over product id of my product table so you can see right relationship has been created with the help of order id if i will over my cursor over here it will highlight me based on which column i have created relationship so product id product id now if i'll go to report view now you can see values are changed so if in your case also if you are getting default values so do not get confused so make sure you have created relationship between different tables okay different data set which you have in your power bi desktop now you can see these values are very small right now if i want if you want to increase okay if you want to format these things so you have to make use of this particular option 
format your visual but if you want to make use of this option first you need to select this particular table visual okay so if you observe here i have selected here so no format your visual is coming so i need to first make sure i need to choose this i need to select this table visual then this option will get enabled now i'll click over here format your visual now you can see i am getting two sub option visual and general so in visual i am having different options so with, by the help of this option i can format my table visual elements and second is general so in general i am getting these options right so let me give first heading for this particular table so if anyone is seeing this table okay they will not get which type of chart i have used this which type of visual i have used so i want to make sure if someone will observe this particular table visual they will get to know which chart or visual i have created okay so i will go to general and i will turn on title and i will explain this okay now i will write here my visual name which is table visual okay so you can see observe this table visual one heading it has appended at the top right so now i will increase size up to 20 i'll make this as bold text color i want to give text text color and let me give background color also so you can see background color and i will make this as centrally aligned observe so let me increase little bit size okay now this is perfect so if anyone is seeing this particular visual okay they will get to know what type of chart or visual is it so i think uh, chart will be better instead of visual okay chart and visual means same thing nothing different individual okay thing will call as visual or chart also will call as individual visual okay so the this this is table chart okay now you can see these values are very very small i want to increase these values so if you will go to sub option of format your visual of sub option i am going to make use as visual so if i want to increase and decrease and i want to change the color of this headings okay okay so i will make use of visual options if i want to format so first is a style present so by default you can see these are the styles okay now you can see if i will give none so it is going to display my table chart in this manner none so second is minimal okay so you can see it will display in uh, this manner okay bold header so header will be bold okay altering rows so you can see it will display in this manner contrast it will display chart table chart in this manner plus zero it will be going to display in this manner okay bold header so you can see these are the different style present in our particular these are the style sheet provided by power bi for this table chart so i am going to make use of condensed only so you can see it will look like this okay now we have grid options okay so this is nothing these lines which are separating each row and column these are, will call as grid so right now you can see it is in gray color right so if i want to make this as black so i can make use of black color so these are too small so if i will increase the size so you can see so these are horizontal okay grid okay so i will give as one and this is my vertical grid so vertical grid is this one so you can observe so this is my vertical grid observe this friends so i will make this as one only then border okay so border is nothing let me give this uh, top border so you can see it will going to give like this so different options are present friends 
border we have options so i'm going to see later these options now values so these are nothing but values friends okay so i hope uh, it is fine grid is fine now values so these are nothing friends values so i will make this as bold so you will be able to observe observe so if i want to make this value as bold so i will click on bold okay now text color so you can see text color right now it is black only background color you can see there is no background color so let me give background color so you can see for first column okay it is going to give orange but for second row it is going to give us white only but if you want to give alternate rows okay also as a different background color so you can make use of alternate background color and uh, let me give this particular background color now you can see right now values are too small if you want to increase you can increase in this way so observe so value will be able to increase in this way this is too large so i'll make this as 16 now this is fine okay so values in this way will be able to increase the size of values now column headers so these are nothing friends. these are the column headers you can see category name subcategory product name okay if you want to increase their size so you'll be able to increase so you can see i'm going to increase up to 18 i will make this as bold okay text color you can see white background color is black only right now you can see it is left and aligned headers so i want to make them as central aligned so you can see product name you can observe other columns are also getting affected but uh, these space are too small so that's why they are we are not able to see any movement but product name you can be able to see right so i want to make this as left only and we have option auto size width so it will automatically fix with the size of this particular width then uh, we have totals friends so you can see these are totals right so you can see total so this is our total if you want to increase the size of total so you will be able to increase from here you can see total size so i'll make this as 15 only okay text color you can see this is text color if you want to give any other color so you'll be able to give any other color also for totals we have seen then we have different options for a specific column cell element url icon image size accessibility so we are going to see this later in the next video so i hope till here everything is fine you are able to understand till here how i have created and how i have formatted this table chart so i hope friend you like this video please subscribe my channel okay and thank you for watching